Hmm? I can't get off of it. We welcome everyone to this February 27th, 2023 meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees. This is a workshop and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guest form and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is a responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. Okay. We're now going to be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by the students of Corsicana Middle School. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one, indivisible. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Now we're going to have Pastor Alan Walker lead us in invocation. Amen. 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 There's a scripture I want to read first. It says number six, it's number six 25th verse and 26. <clears throat> it says, may the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace as we bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God. We magnify your holy name. We thank you for being so good and kind unto us today. Thank you for breathing fresh breath in our body on today. Thank you for the activity of our limbs, Lord God. We thank you for just your love that we feel in this place. We ask, Lord God, that you bless the people that make up this school board, Lord God, in this district, Lord God. Bless them with wisdom, Lord God, greater understanding, deeper revelation, Lord God. And let them continue to pour out love, Lord God, as you pour your love into them, Lord God. We ask for your forgiveness of sins, Lord God, known and unknown. And we pray your blessing upon thy people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Meryl, do we have any audience for guests? All right. So now we're going to roll into the superintendent report. This evening, we are continuing our celebration of Black History Month with a um, very festive occasion at the high school. We want to celebrate the culture of um, all of our um, citizens and especially our African Americans. So we encourage everyone to go to the high school from five to seven to see a wonderful celebration later this afternoon. Our special programs department is hosting a family movie night um, Thursday at 6 p.m. This is um, for people with um, for celebrating and uplifting people with dyslexia. So we encourage our families, our students, and anyone who is interested in learning more about dyslexia to attend this event. Um, we celebrated the city of Corsicana's 175th birthday on Saturday night. That was a wonderful event, and so we join with our city in celebrating this special occasion. <coughs> this weekend, our calicos were very busy. They were at a, a special um, competition in Waxahachie. They were third of the 14 schools in the best of the best category. Um, they won first place in the large school division. They had two sweepstakes, 61. Division One soloist, uh, first place in the social officer um, palm routine, and were voted the most outstanding team by their competition. So we congratulate our Calicos. Our CHS choir also just competed in the UIL solo competition. They had three one ratings and a two. Uh, congratulations to Ariel Conley, Juliana Hernandez, Lizia Rodriguez, and An Anaja Ross. Um, we just received a Billy Hibbs Safety Award in the district. Um, the Claims Adjustment Services came by and awarded um, us this beautiful plaque. 
as well as a $500 um, scholarship, which will be awarded to one of our graduating seniors at the end of this school year. Our middle school students just completed the amazing shake competition. We have 10 who will be heading to Atlanta to compete. Um, first place was Savannah Swanson, and so we want to congratulate her as well as the other um, nine students who will be joining her, one of which um, has a mother who's a school board member and another one who has um, a central office administrator as a father. So we're really proud of our amazing shake kids. Our elementary and intermediate UIL teams brought home first place trophies during recent competition competitions and our fifth and sixth graders also won their district meets. Um, Trevor Dimbo, one of our former Tiger football players, came and talked to our football team. Very inspirational and we just wanted to um, say thank you publicly to Trevor for coming and um, inspiring our students and telling his story. Our special programs hosted a transition fair at Navarro College um, this past week and we appreciate all the colleges, businesses, and vendors who participated in this um, transition fair. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Now we're going to move into certification of unopposed candidates. Um, all we need on this, um, we have um, posted as required by law um, for the requisite time and in the requisite locations for our school board meeting. We have two candidates who are unopposed and all we need is a motion and um, action on this item. I move that we accept the certification of unopposed candidates for the election to be held May 6, 2023. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second to accept the certification of unopposed candidates for the election to be held May 6, 2023. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Ayes have it, and we will accept the certification for unopposed candidates for the election to be held May 6 of 2023. And so the next item, because Mr. Brown and Mr. Chambers are unopposed, is cancellation of the election for places one and two. We just need a motion and um, action on this item. I move that CISD cancel the election for Board of Trustee place one and place two to be held on May 6, 2023 in accordance with section 2.053 of the Texas Election Code and certify that Dr. Seth Brown place one and Kamar Chambers place two are hereby elected. There's second. Second. All right. All those, um, it's been moved and seconded to, to CISD cancel the election of the Board of Trustees place one and place two to be held May 6, 2023 in accordance with section 2.053 of the Texas Election Code and certify that Dr. Seth Brown, place one, and Kamar Chambers, place two, are hereby elected. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it and the motion carries. I'm not saying that again. No, no, no. All right. Uh, we have a human resource update. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Frost, Dr. Brown, members of the board. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief update on where uh, human resources at at this point in time in the year on, uh, on hiring and recruiting and retention, just kind of how we're looking for the spring. Um, so resignations at this point, uh, this is since November, we have seven total teacher resignations moving into the spring, uh, which is uh, five, five less than we had at this point in time last year, three, three of which this year are retirements. Um, we have got all but one of those positions filled currently for uh, for now and the 23-24 school year. Um, those are all certified people that we've hired right now. Uh, the feedback from the principals is we, we've got a lot more applicants coming to the table at this point in time this year than we did a year ago. So uh, the feeling's a little better. Hopefully it's gonna be that, that type of hiring season. Um, here's our recruiting schedule for the year. Um, the fall we went, we went to uh, we went to seven recruitments that we were able to make it to in the state, and then we've got 12 that we're going to hit starting uh, the first week in March for, for this semester. Um, we're, we're able to, to get enough applicants from those to continue to go to, and we feel like we do enough good on the, on the in-person uh, job fairs that it, it, it is beneficial for us to continue to do so. So we're going to more than we've ever gone to this year, and we're going we're gonna to try to get as many uh, applicants on the front end before we have these positions come open as we can. Uh, retention strategies for the year. We have got, uh, we've got a group of Alt-Cert teachers in the district this year uh, that we feel really, really good about. 
However, they've got to complete their certification. So we're doing something we haven't done before. Uh, we've got a group coming in that's going to that's done preparation course coursework for the PPR test uh, for for all new teachers uh, in education. We did that in January, and then any of those teachers that still need to pass their content exams uh, within their subject levels will do a test prep on uh, March 20th. That same group's coming in, and, and I think that's going to be really, really beneficial. We've already had good feedback and had several people pass the PPR since we did that preparation for them. Uh, our benefits package, of course, is a lure. Uh, consistent campus leadership. I felt like we hired well uh, on the campuses last year in terms of administration, and nothing keeps people around better than good leadership. Uh, strong district culture, and then multiple layers of support, more so for new teachers than, any, than anyone else is what I'm referring to there. Uh, we've got our, our local job fair that we're going to do as well. Our preliminary date for that is May 1st. Uh, we've made professional and non-professional hires for that every year that we've done it, so we're going to continue to do so and host that. That's a, that's a good deal for us, and, and it goes with the grow your own mentality, uh, which we feel good about at the moment. We hired 26 local candidates last year uh, in, in uh, certified teaching positions. Some of them are in that group that I was referring to on testing. A lot of them are fully certified right now, but uh, we've, been, we've been fortunate to have good applicants in town and been able to take care of Course Cannon with, with our own people. Uh, recruiting strategies, we're going to continue that mindset of grow your own, uh, continue to go all over the state to job fairs. Uh, we've got a geofencing project that we're working on with our communications department. Uh, Raymond's done a lot of research for us, and we're going to target educators in specific areas throughout the Metroplex and the... Uh, other surrounding uh, cities uh, and, and try to lure them into to our area. A social media campaign and then we're going to start pushing out commercials through uh, through both of those avenues. Are there any questions before I move into the commercial? I want you all to get to watch it. Um, Ma'am. I talked to um, Mariah. She's a realtor because I had talked to Dr. Foss about the Teacher Next Door program. Uh -huh. and I know in the Metroplex they have that program and she's going to do some research on to see if if they, we, we can get that program here where they get deals on teachers that, for like housing, for mm -hmm. going to buy a house. Absolutely. Buy a house, you know, buy or whatever. No, that'd be so great. She's doing some research, research to see if um, we can get that program <coughs> here in Course Canada. Great. I'd love to hear any information about that. It'd be great. Because you would think that we own those houses out there but awfully. With them, with them logo. According to the signage, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're good looking signs. Raymond really good looking. I hope they bring people here. Those It'll be good. <laughs> Our logo on the sign out by that, the housing project. Yeah. I haven't called them yet. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, she said she'll let me know about it. Gotcha. I appreciate it. All right, well, I'm going to roll the video then. Maybe it'll work. It didn't. Oh. Hey, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, I'm going to need some help. <laughs> Stephanie, just take care of it. It's a technology issue. Mm -hmm. It's a technology. It's not anything I did, I can assure you that. stripes with Corsicana ISD. Let us tell you why. Location, location, location. We're within a short drive of Dallas, Fort Worth, Tyler, and Waco. Each is about an hour away. We take care of our teachers financially. New teachers at Corsicana ISD can make more than $50,000 a year, and we offer high needed stipends for both math and bilingual. We believe in growing our talent in Corsicana ISD. We offer master's degree tuition reimbursement, mentoring for new teachers, and staff development training. Your well-being is very important to us. We cover 100% of our employees' health insurance and even offer paid life insurance. Corsica Canada is home. It offers first-class parks, a library downtown, and a robust RC. We are a one-high school town with 6,000 kids district-wide in a close-knit community of 25,000. Our community believes in TCC. Taking care of course care. The 2015 bond package allowed us to build a new middle school and make upgrades to all of our other campuses. Corsicana is a great place to live, learn, work, and play. 
That's why we think you should come. Earn your stripes. Earn your stripes. Then go to Stryas in Corsicana ISD. All right. Anyway, that's going to be part of our uh, our social media package and, uh, and hopefully the geofencing package as well. Mm hmm. They're good. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to move into the district instructional calendar for 2023 20. 24. So, Dr. Frost, Dr. Brown, board members, um, thank you. We are here to ask for approval for our calendar for the 2023-24 school year. Uh, the survey ended on February 22nd. We gave out three options, and the op we had a total of 1,249 votes. Option B had 724 votes, which was 57% of the uh, votes or that were the responses. Option A had 307 votes, which was 24%, and option C had 218 votes, which was 17%. So we're asking if you will um, approve calendar option B. That was the one that won overall in the survey. Okay. And all right, I move to approve calendar option B as the Corsican ISD 2023-2024 district calendar. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve calendar option B as the Corsican ISD 2023-24 district calendar. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. And we are going to approve calendar option B as the calendar for 2023-2024. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, the health curriculum review and approval. Okay, I'm back. Um, last spring, we uh, uh, we approved creating our own health curriculum for these topics within the new TEKS for the state. Um, long story short, we had to show a video to our fifth and sixth graders over fetal development. There are points that we had to hit in there. Uh, we felt best to create our own video to take any uh, questions out of how or what was being taught and. Uh, Nurse Whit put it together with our communications department, and we do need board approval to show that. It is a video that will require opt-in permission uh, from parents. So they'll, they'll only view it if they choose to. I'm not pushing it again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carla Witt. I'm a registered nurse. Today we're talking about you and how uniquely you were made. Have you ever wondered what you'd look like before you were born? When did your heart start beating? When did you get ears? When did you get fingertips? The way you develop before you were born is amazing. So today we're going to look at what you look like before you were born. So let's begin. When you are four weeks old, your heart has already started to beat and that your brain and your spinal column are beginning to form. You are about a fourth of an inch in length. By eight weeks old, your arms and your legs are growing and you even have elbows. Some of your facial features are beginning to develop and you start moving on your own. You're about one and a fourth to one and a half inches in length. By 12 weeks old, your arms and your legs are beginning to move. You can swallow. Your fingernails and your toenails are growing, and your kidneys start working. You are about three and a half inches in length. By 16 weeks, your mom may begin to feel you move. Your skin is wrinkled. You can move your hands to your face. Your eyes begin to move. You can even suck your thumb and you can even grasp. You're about five and a half inches and about seven ounces. By 22 weeks, your brain is growing very fast. Your taste buds are developing, your eyelids and your eyebrows are fully formed, and you begin to be asleep and you begin to be awake. You are about eight and a half inches in length. 
by 26 weeks, your fingerprints are developing. You can suck on your fingers or your hands, your eyes can blink, your eyelashes are forming, and guess what? You can even hiccup. You are about 10 inches in length. By 32 weeks, you are moving a lot more. Your bones are hardening. You can kick and you can stretch. You respond to sound and your eyes respond to light. You are 12 inches and about four and a half pounds. By 38 weeks, your lungs and brain are developing quickly. Your toenails have reached the end of your toes. Your fingernails are past your fingertips and you are considered fully developed. You are ready to be born. You are 14 inches or greater and most babies when they're born are about seven and a half pounds. Now you know what you look like before you were born. Remember, you are uniquely made. Any questions over in there? All right, thank you. Thank you to Carla Witt, too. Carla, I, I thought it was really good. <laughs> I thought it was very good, Carla. Thank you. All right. We need a motion. We need a motion for that? To accept it. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not in here. All right, so we, we approve the health curriculum um, that was just presented. Second. All right, we're going to approve, get a motion to, in a second, to approve the health curriculum that was presented. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Ayes have it, and we will have approved the health curriculum for next year. Okay, is there any additional items we want to have on the next board meeting? Okay, you've got some time, about a week, so, all right, now we're moving to the consent agenda. Do I have a motion for the consent agenda? I move to approve the consent agenda. Thank you, Is a second? Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. The ayes have it, and we have approved the consent agenda. So we're going to adjourn into closed session as permitted by Texas Governance Code 551.01. Actually, we're going to take a recess first to, to go see the governor. And we'll be back, and we'll go to closed session when we get back from that. So thank you very much.